also opening tomorrow, dog groomers. But there will be certain restrictions. Here's First News reporter Jacob Thompson. Wags and Wiggles Resort has been preparing for the day they can reopen. Totally just wiped down the room, just top to bottom, just making sure everything is totally gutted, sanitized, cleaned as much as possible. But even when you walk in the front door, you'll notice changes, such as paws where you can stand, keep everyone six feet apart. Plus, you have to wear a mask. You know, no mask, no entry. It can be face covering, doesn't have to be a mask. When you bring your pet in, you're going to need to take the collars and the leashes off. And I'm going to put our leash on the dog, and they're going to take the leash with them. So we're just trying to keep everything sanitary. Groomers at the resort went through extra training on how to keep every pet safe from COVID-19. Sanitizing and, you know, good protocols for safe distance and the use of masks and why we use the mask for them. They've already received bookings through June. Before the pandemic, they had about 12 to 18 groomings a day. Now they're looking to cut that in half. We have to sanitize a lot more between each dog now. We always cleaned between each dog, but now it's a lot more stringent. And then I have to go in, strip the cage, and I've got to wipe the cage down, and then it's going to be 10 minutes before another dog can be put in that cage. And they're asking if you have coronavirus symptoms to not come into the building. In Canfield, Jacob Thompson, WKBN 27 First News.